My name is Yugi Shouda. I'm a 29-year-old office worker, and I have a partner that works at a different company. Her name is Yuka, and she works for a business partner company. We have already agreed that we're going to marry each other, too. Me and Yuka have the same hobbies, and we got along so well. When we first met each other, it felt like we'd known each other for such a long time. It seems like she felt the same way about me, and that's why we decided to start dating. We've been going out for two years now, and we still haven't gotten into a single argument. I see. I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> That's why I think you should try dating someone with similar hobbies to you. Thanks for the advice. This guy is called Makino. And he recently joined our company. He graduated from a prestigious college, but he's very humble and listens to anything I say very seriously. He's a great subordinate. It's kind of embarrassing to say, but I've never had a girlfriend before. Wait, really? Yeah. I was completely surprised about what he just told me. I thought he would have been one of the most popular guys in class back in school. He's good looking, smart, and very kind. Everyone that I find attractive always already has someone else that they're interested in. Oh, I see. What is it like to date someone as an adult, eh? I'd love to meet your girlfriend sometime. I didn't feel bad at all having an elite guy like him look up to me. That's why I decided to take him out to drink with my girlfriend and her co-workers. Everyone seemed to have a good time and we all got pretty drunk. I was hoping that Makino would be able to find a girlfriend here. I never expected what happened next. Three months later. About three months had passed and I had a business meeting with Tachibana the CEO of our partner company. Okay. Thanks for the meeting today. Let's continue to do our best. Okay, thank you very much. Oh yeah, Yugi. Did you break up with your girlfriend, by the way? You're asking me this again? Unfortunately, we're still very deeply in love. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, hey! Are you really sure you should be using that kind of language in a business meeting? We're high school classmates. I should be able to use whatever language I want to. <laughs> yeah, so the CEO Tachibana was actually my high school classmate. And I was really surprised when we bumped into each other at a business meeting. However, she told me that I was like the only one who didn't know she was the daughter of Nanakuma Company's founder. Back in high school, she did seem to have a special aura around her, and apparently some people distanced themselves from her because of that. She had fantastic grades and held many records for the school athletics club. She was also very attractive, so I can understand why some guys were nervous around her. However, I found her pretty cool and easy to talk to. Although she was also the daughter of the CEO of a huge company, I can understand why everyone felt inferior to her. However, I didn't know about this, and I talked to her very normally. When are you guys going to break up, then? We're not going to break up. The reason why she keeps on saying things like this is because we were pretty good friends back in high school. We promised each other that if we both became 30 years old and we were still single, we would marry each other. She doesn't like the fact that I'm engaged and about to get married before her. Oh, my bad, I got a text. Hey! You shouldn't be looking at your phone while you're in a business meeting with the CEO of a partner company. Well, it's you, so it's fine. What we have is special. What? Well, I mean, it's a huge coincidence that we got reunited like this. Yugi. Oh, I got a text from my girlfriend. Yugi, this is what I don't like about you. Do you really not understand my feelings at all? I hate that you look so happy. I thought that the message with the photo was from my girlfriend, but the person that sent it was my co-worker, Makino, for some reason. Huh? What happened? Uh, it's nothing. I had already started to panic and didn't know what to say. Did something happen to your girlfriend? The photo that was sent to my phone was a photo of Makino and Yuka together. A little while later, and I also received a text message. Sorry, man! I sent the photo before sending you the message. Yuka finally said yes to me. 
then she's agreed to come to London with me when I get transferred. We're also talking about getting engaged once we're over there. I know that it's during working hours, but uh, I wanted to let you know immediately as you were the one that introduced me to her. I'll make sure to make it happy, so make sure that you cancel all your wedding plans with her. Thanks. We were currently planning out our wedding, and we had already booked the venue. However, we hadn't told anyone else about it. Makino was no exception. The fact that he knows about that means this wasn't some kind of joke or prank. Last things ended up like this. I hadn't noticed my girlfriend's change in emotions at all. Maybe she got annoyed because I was so blunt and didn't think there was anything wrong. Then, do you want to marry me? What? I'm really not in the mood for jokes right now. I'm not joking at all. I've always had feelings for you, Yugi. You just never seem to notice. The Tachibana? Or should we do it first? What? <laughs> that was a joke. But you get how serious I am about you now, right? Y yeah. Make sure you don't blame yourself for what happened. You're a great guy. You've made me fall in love with you after all. Tachibana. She's trying to cheer me up. Thanks so much. It was a surprising method, but she really did manage to cheer me up, and I avoided getting too upset about what had just happened. Once I finished work, I contacted Yuka, and she confirmed that she was definitely going to choose Makino over me. Um, I'm really sorry. Yeah, you better be! Uh... However, I'm a little relieved that you didn't force yourself to get married to me. Yuta. I'll be fine happiness with him. Yeah. Me and Yuka had to stay in touch as we had so much to do. We had to cancel the wedding venue and many other things. Every time we met up, Makino was by her side. As soon as Yuka went to the toilet, he started saying this. I had no idea people got this upset and lethargic after they break up. What? Watching you is so funny. I get to learn so much. This guy. Actually, that's not what I'm upset about. What? I want you to keep this a secret from her. But I found a new partner almost immediately after we broke up. My new girlfriend is really busy and we can't meet up much, so... We always call each other till late at night. I've barely slept, and that's why I'm so lethargic. Is that true? Really true? Please show me a photo of her. Of course not. You're getting married to Yuka, right? She should be the only woman you think about and love. That was a case for me. I only thought about and loved Yuka. You don't need to tell me that. I already know. I have no idea why I just told a stupid lie like that. I'm not dating her. These guys are gonna be abroad by next month. I was just gonna pretend that we broke up after they moved abroad, but I felt bad for Tachibana for some reason. She came to my mind when I was telling that lie. I still don't think that Tachibana was serious about what she said back then, but I kind of felt like I had betrayed her even though she said she liked me. I guess I'll try to contact her. I contacted Tachibana and asked her to come and drink with me after work. A few days later. I'm sorry, did you wait? Not at all, I just got here too. Let's go then. Yeah. He was saying that he had plans today, so I tried following him. Isn't that not a Kuma company CEO? How dare he date a beautiful woman like that? I wanna steal her from him. Tachibana listened to my pathetic story. I see. So your trashy co-worker thinks that we're dating then? I'm sorry. I don't mind at all, actually. However, the drinks are on you tonight. Of course. Okay, then. Let's drink. Let's eat and drink a lot. So that you cheer up. Yeah, let's drink. A few days later. Could I sit next to you? Yeah. Are you, uh, Tachibana, the CEO of Nanakuma? Yeah. I'm sorry to bother you like this. Uh, we've actually met once before at a business meeting. I'm Yugi's co-worker, and my name is Makino. 
I really wanted to sit down and get to know you better. I see. I'd be happy to have a chat. I wonder why he's decided to approach me like this. Wait, is he planning to steal me from Yugi? I wanted to check what his motive is, so I decided to play along. It was just as I had thought. Makino decided to invite me out to dinner, hiding the fact that he had a girl that he was engaged to. He kept on trying to flirt with me, but I knew about what he had done in the past. It just seemed like he wanted to steal everything that was important to Yugi. It also seemed like Makino didn't know that I knew about what he had done. I'm sorry for making you wait. Let's go inside then? Yeah. Tachibana? Tachibana! I love you. Please, would you become my girlfriend? I also think we should get engaged. There's no way that's ever gonna happen. What? It's about time that you realized. No matter how much you steal from him, you're never gonna be able to become like Yugi. What are you talking about? You're never gonna be able to get to his level. You won't find happiness no matter who you get married to. You obviously haven't learned any of his kindness or disciplined work style. What? I won't ever get to his level. Tachibana! Yugi, Yuka! You're the absolute worst! I already heard that you weren't thinking about getting married to me very seriously. What? This is the first time I've seen a guy get slapped in the face by his girlfriend. You look so pathetic. Ugh. I heard that Makino had approached Tachibana from the very start. I also told Yuka about it. We decided to follow Tachibana on Makino's date to try to figure out his true intentions. I didn't really imagine that I would encounter him proposing to Tachibana and completely betraying Yuka like that. I've done everything that I can for the sake of the guy I first fell in love with. Now Makino and Yuka will break up and Yuki can get back together with her. Tachibana! What? I'm so glad that you're okay. Yuki? I was so worried that something bad might happen to you. You were worried about me? Of course I was! I had no idea you could make facial expressions like that, Shuta. What? what? Tachibana, thank you so much. I was shocked by what happened, but I'm actually kind of happy that I get to avoid marrying a piece of trash like him. Yeah, that's true. Also, I know that I don't deserve a to have a second chance with Shuta. I kind of thought that I want to support the two of you being together. What? The two of us? What are you talking about? You really are terrible at picking up signs from women, aren't you? Tachibana thinks of you as a very important person. Yuka. Back in high school. I heard that you broke up with Tachibana Kariko! Yeah, I tried dating her because of her looks, but she was really boring. Huh? Yugi? Don't you forget a guy like him that doesn't realize your qualities. Yeah? You're amazing! I can assure you of that. Yugi? Hmm. I don't want to be told this by a guy that's never had a girlfriend before. What? I'll be able to get a girlfriend in no time. Oh, really? Now? <sighs> I lied. I actually don't have much confidence that I'll be able to. If both of us are still single when we turn 30 years old, then let's, uh, 12 years after we graduated. I never imagined we managed to end up getting married. Me too. Um... What is it? I love you, Kuriko. Thanks so much for choosing me. Shuta? After I canceled my wedding with Yuka, I decided to take a step forward and start dating Kuriko. After becoming her boyfriend, I realized just how important she was to me. I have no idea why I didn't realize that up until now. Today, our promise from 12 years ago is finally coming true. We're getting married. I'm going to make her the happiest woman in the world. And I hope that we have a great future together. Congratulations, both of you.